Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we are going to be talking about a latency mon. Now, latency mon is a free software utility for Windows that will analyze each of your drivers on your computer, and it will tell you if those drivers are uh, acting up and causing something called uh, an interrupt and how long that interrupt is. And if you have a an interrupt in your computer, everything has to stop and wait for that one thing. If that does occur, with audio being real time, the audio will cut out. And you don't want that. Um, and it really tended to be an issue in the, you know, Windows 7 and 8 days. Um, but with Windows 10, the audio is handled more at a, you know, at a, at a lower, it's not so much abstracted, it's very close to the core of the operating system the kernel i don't know what i'm freaking talking about but basically it uh audio is handled very well in uh, windows and this is always a good idea when you uh build a machine and you know just see if there's any drivers that would be suspect this applies to windows people on laptops because laptops with certain wi-fi cards and stuff like that can cause um, these kind of interrupts um, an easy workaround if you notice that there's a network card or whatever causing these interrupts uh, You can just disable it and then you're good to go. So uh, let's go to my desktopage and we'll open up latency mon. You can get this uh, just look it up latency mon and uh, Yeah, let's open it up Screen went black for a sec. There we go. All right. So what you do is you get this and you just hit play and uh, You can do this while you are um using Ableton or whatever, putting under load. But I like to use it when, you know, nothing's happening, right? Just to get a baseline. Um, mind you, there is something happening. Uh, I have a OBS and I have an ASIO plugin and stuff like that. And then I have the audio for this mic. So there's audio happening. Um, but uh, yeah, basically this uh, interrupt, um, you want this number to be below 1000. Anything below 1000, it says your system appears to be suitable for handling real-time audio and other tasks without dropouts. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. If you have problems, then you will see them in this uh, um, program here. So let's just uh, hit stop for now. We can go to stats. It'll tell you, you know, about, like just copy and paste this and be like, what's going on? And uh, yeah, it'll tell you the highest measured interrupt in uh, latency in microseconds um, and reported uh, ISRs and DPCs. So we'll go over to, I go over to drivers. This is what I look at. I go over here and then I sort by highest execution in milliseconds. Um, these are the things that basically cause a, a halt, I guess, and says, hey, I need to do something, everyone hold up yo and uh you know these things kind of happen and uh one of the biggest culprits would be the uh video drivers because uh video drivers and the dx uh drivers because those are drawing the images on the screen and that's kind of hefty if this number is super huge you want to make sure that you uh, update your drivers for the uh, NVLDDMKM. I'm not sure uh, what the AMD name is, but you know, you'll be able to see in the DX, which is the uh, DirectX um, uh, uh, driver. If you're getting some issues, uh, you know, tone down the, uh, the Windows animations and stuff like that. Uh, check if there's any power settings or like, you know, um, what would what would it be called? A uh, dynamic overclock or anything like that. Um, get rid of those. Um, another one you'd be looking at would be um, what else? Yeah, I, I, yeah, your USB port. If this is a high execution time, then you want to uh, update your drivers. Make sure you're not using the generic drivers, and you can consult your uh, manual, essentially. Um, I don't have a network card on here as an example, but I can look at uh, things like my um, my FireWire card here, um, 1394, uh, no, no execution times at all, and uh, kind of go through these um, one by one. Um, 
you could have like battery saving options and stuff like that so what would cause this to spike would be um, power options uh, and whatnot um, the audio buffer on your sound card um, being too low so if you go into settings on your sound card you have it like a 32 your computer's struggling to keep up with that uh, buffer size so just increase it uh, you can also go into well if there is if the card wasn't engaged i can go into the uh, driver latency low medium and high things like that uh yeah i'm using firewire again which is real time so it's very critical that uh, there's no major interrupts because it's a steady stream and full duplex and if that gets an interrupt it's boom it's cut there's no uh there's no it's not like usb where it's like packets sent or what have you uh, as far as i know i'm not a computer scientist and then uh uh yeah if you're having other problems disable c states and uh yeah just look up um uh look up say well this is this is pretty typical and these are very low numbers but if you have a particular driver just uh google it with uh like um usb port uh uh, latency mon um, high latency or something like that and you'll get people being like oh yeah this happened just disable this it's uh very useful and you can get some really interesting stats you might want to watch my previous video on how to optimize windows 10 uh, for audio uh, namely enabling uh, the priority of background services um, you'll see this uh this number uh, go down very much so but if this number is pretty high there's something going on so what i like to do is i like to uh just get a baseline uh with nothing going on and then i'll go and i'll do another uh test while running like ableton and vsts and stuff like that um yeah i hope that was uh enlightening to a lot of you it's a really useful tool if you're just like what's going on mates so you can be like oh this driver boom got it highest execution what's taking the longest time this uh tcp ip driver is freaking crazy all oh, right i need to investigate my driver okay it's the latest driver maybe i need to roll back i need to update windows you know all these things you can do anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you learned stuff take care and have a good one